Well, a fantastic game alongside between the Bucks versus the Celtics. Unfortunately, the Warriors will take over game one with 117 through Grizzlies 116. Won't be biased. The referee was questionable. Was questionable on both team, but both of each other ends. My right. Who oh, did he sell that layup? Did he sell? Did he sell when making that layup? I want to know why they just didn't, you know, have uh Bane or Jackson Jr. go attack the paint, do a, a dunk or something to make a two pointer game. If they would have did that, the Grizzlies would have had one eighteen and the Warriors would have had one seventeen. But fortunately, they just didn't do that. Another thing that hurt them was Clark giving the ball away. He shouldn't have touched the ball at all. He should have just let it win out of balance, and they would have had the upper advantage. Now, I don't know why when they got the ball or the jump ball, they wasted so much time. It was just so frustrating because he... Because Jay, he, John, he looked at so devastated when he realized that the ball didn't enter into the net. But he had over 34 points. Jackson Jr. had 33 points. Brutes was struggling with 8 points. Um, Clark and Melton had 14 and 12 points. That was it. Now, the Warriors... The Warriors, Draymond Green got ejected. Steph Curry had 24. Riggs had 17. Klay Thompson came back at the end. Got 15. And Jordan Poole got 31 points. Now, I'm excited for game two. Will the Warriors take the lead to 2-0 to or will the Grizzlies come back and tie the series with 1-1? One